Are you guys ready for another Petula try on? I honestly thought about like getting ready, but I'm just not vibing with it today. You're getting makeupless natural hair Danielle today and that's, it is what it is. That's just how I'm showing up today. Petula is dropping their brand new Here Comes the Sun collection. We've got bright colors, everything's the cast material. So let's just get right into it. Let's jump into the details everything that you see here is launching on july 20th which is thursday at 8 p.m eastern standard time you can use my code danielle which does a few things it directly supports me and impacts my day-to-day -day life more than you know it it also shows petula at my reviews my content is helpful for you which also means so freaking much to me also over on instagram i run a giveaway on my instagram page a monthly one um, where if you use my code and you send me a screenshot of it it gets you extra entries into my monthly giveaway so be sure you head on over to my instagram and follow me there so you don't miss my monthly giveaways let's get into my sizing as far as sizing for this launch i'm wearing everything in a size medium besides shorts i always choose to size up in shorts because i hold more weight in my bottom half my legs so i have more room to wiggle around in and then as far as my stats i am 5'3 i don't weigh myself but usually i'm around 155 ish pounds i probably fluctuate around there and my bust is 32 inches or 34 b waist is 29 inches hips glutes are 41 inches and then around my thigh is 27 inches i hold most of my weight in my arms i can like gain i can make some gains in my arms if i wanted to i don't have slender arms at all um and then i hold some weight in my lower tummy and then my like bottom half my thighs i definitely have that hourglass shape and then i have a wider rib cage and a wider back so that's kind of how i go about my sizing which is why i could size down in a small to tops but because i want more room right here and for my back i do a medium um, but i have like a small chest area but i choose to do a medium that's why i do mediums and that's kind of also why i do large and shorts i just like that extra room however i do a medium and leggings that is all my sizing all that information just some more information on this launch overall can be found over on my instagram so feel free to go follow me over there i do try ons over there and i share very informational slides let's talk about the fabric so it is the Cassie fabric. Everything in this drop is the Cassie fabric, and I like to think of the Cassie fabric as the golden standard for Petula. It is like my top tier, my number one, a bestseller, but it's also the one that I pull all the time. I wear it up to three times a week. Whenever I do my like weekly outfits, I always find myself, I'm like, I'm wearing Cassie shorts literally every day. So then like I try to like change it up a bit, but that's how good this material is. I reach for it all the time. And it's one that I recommend to a lot of my followers, first time customers, someone who's looking to spice up their closet. It's really at like my top, the top of my list. I know it is for a lot of other customers and spokesmodels and ambassadors as well. So the material you'll be getting from any of these pieces, you will fall in love with. It is so buttery soft, soft to the touch. It just lays so well, so nicely on everyone's body type i feel like it is so stretchy very breathable but form fitting it's also sweat wicking which is why i pull it for a lot of my workouts the cassie fabric is top tier it is amazing and you will not be disappointed even if you get one piece in the cassie fabric you i bet you will not be disappointed that is a fabric rundown of this launch so now let's get into the piece details. I'm gonna break it up. So I'm gonna go through all the tops first and then I'm gonna go through the bottoms and then I'm gonna end with the dresses. So let's get into all of the pieces launching. We are gonna start with the notch crop. I'm wearing a size medium and it is coming in this beautiful punch color. Also coming in this black color. And then it's also coming in Lucky Charm green color we've got three colorways for this top everything in this drop most of the tops are very fitted so just keep that in mind when you're shopping if you don't like things very fitted 
then I would consider sizing up. Otherwise, I think a lot of you will be very happy in your true to size. I stuck with my normal true to size medium and I'm very happy. Obviously made out of the Cassie fabric. We have this cute like notch detailing up here with short capped like sleeves. I got a lot of questions on like how the sleeves on all these tops um, are because I have thicker arms I was worried not gonna lie but these lay very nicely around the arms they're not restricting or like cutting into my arm where it's uncomfortable because it's the Cassie fabric it's just very comfortable around my thicker arms so I don't think I it's enough for me to size up but I'm also one to enjoy fitted like cropped tees but I wouldn't worry about this and any of the tops cutting off. The crop length, my belly button is right here. So if I really wanted to, I could pull this down enough to where this looks like a bodysuit. Um, but I also like to tuck a lot of these crops like up and under because it just flatters my body shape a little bit more. And then the back is just very simple. Petula branding, um, but nothing really digs in here. The only stitch is like this stitch down at the bottom, but other than that, this fabric is so comfortable. On the inside, it does come with removable pads. I already took them out, but there is ample room in all of these crops for larger chest overall. We have a very good amount of space here. Then on the outside is like this mesh fabric, but like on the actual inside of this, it's the Cassie. So this band is so comfortable. It's not digging in at all. The stitching like goes up here so I can run my hand through it up here um and then it's like stitched together at the top for that notch so are the arms restrictive at all when you lift them or move them around a lot like i said i don't find them to be restricting or cutting in at all and i have thicker arms so i wouldn't worry too much about this being uncomfortable if you really hate things just like laying like if you have thicker arms and you hate things like laying tight to your skin then i would recommend sizing up but like I personally don't like when things are restrictive and tight around my arms um, and I'm very happy in my true to size and I find this to be very stretchy, breathable and it just lays really nice on the arms. How does the sizing work, like bra sizing or top sizing? I am like a small in a bra size but in tops and crop size because of my wider back and my wider rib cage, that's why I go with a medium. I size based off of my rib cage and my back. If it weren't for those two, I would get a small. So if you are small, like throughout your back, your chest, your rib cage, then I would stick to a small. Otherwise, like if you're kind of like me and you like things a little bit like more roomy around these two areas, I would like um, consider going with a size up. Overall, I've been recommending people to stick to their top slash crop size for this launch just for like a more comfortable fit but if you like things really fitted and tight then you could get away with sizing down or if you don't mind things being too tight around like the arm area then you could get away with sizing down is the material thick so this cast material i wouldn't call it thick i don't find this material to be any more thick than like the valerie's or the sierra's or like honestly like bare warmth like this is just very, it's, I don't consider it thick. It doesn't feel thick. It feels more breathable, durable, comfortable, sweat wicking, like everything you could want. Um, and I don't just feel, I don't feel like it's thick. I feel like it's a good material to have in your closet. Here is the notch crop in black. Again, I'm wearing a size medium. Here's a little 360. I do think a lot of these tops that are launching are gonna be so cute to style. Obviously with shorts and leggings, but I think it's going to be so cute with jean shorts and jeans. Yeah, I adore this crop. It is so cute. This little cut is so unique, but here it is in a medium in black. Now I have the crew crew... I always mess that up. Now I have on the crew cropped tee in the color lavender in a size medium. It's also coming in black and it's coming in this sea green colors and it's a very similar like obviously fabric fit feel to the notch crop just without that detailing on the front so I'm wearing the lavender color and I wanted to show it to you guys with shorts on because I feel like all these crops and all these tops are gonna look so cute styled dressed up with jeans and jean shorts you can also do like a mix and match moment with all the shorts or leggings happy in my medium 
And we've got that same Cassie fabric, breathable, nice, comfortable, sweat wicking. I would say out of all the colors, the lavender is going to be the most to show any sweat, but I'm a type of person like sweat is sweat. Camel toe is camel toe. It is what it is. Um, but I will say this fabric is very sweat wicking, so it's not just going to like soak into it and stay and feel icky. It's very sweat wicking, which is why I grab this material all the time to go work out in. But for the crew cropped team, same length goes as far as all these crops. They kind of like go right above the belly button. But again, I'm going to be <laughs> tucking mine up. It kind of cinches in my waist a little bit more. So you can kind of do two different styles. Um, and we have the same short sleeves, same like situation here. It lays really nice on my non-slender thicker arms. We have a classic crew neck and this stitch detailing here. And then the back is simple, just like all the other ones, Petula branding. And we've got the same situation underneath. Lots of room here. This is like the biggest built-in brawl I've seen Petula like launch, which is why I recommend going with your crop size versus your bra size because I wouldn't worry about having room here. It comes with removable pads. I already took them out. Mesh on the front, casting material on the inside, comfortable elastic waistband. Just a very cute, comfortable, basic crew overall. I wanted to keep on the jean shorts for this one, but now I have on the fitted t-shirt. This is a full length t-shirt. It's kind of the same construction to the crew cropped tee um, as far as like material and the look of like the top. Very fitted. I wasn't sure about it because I'm just not a full length type person. As you guys have heard in the last two clips, I like to tuck mine up and just have that little extra skin showing and it cinches in my waist so I don't reach for full length t-shirts very much. But I feel like a lot of people also love full length and or you could really get away with this looking like a bodysuit. It's coming in this black. It's also coming in Lucky Charm and it's coming in the lavender. So these are the colors that it'll be coming in. We've got that classic crew neckline stitching, the short sleeves, same fit here, same fabric, casting material. It feels very nice on the body, body buttery soft, form fitting like Look at her. She's cute. As far as the back goes, we just have the Petula branding. It kind of like slightly dips down on the front and then on the back. I say as far as sizing goes, if you don't like fitted things, size up. Um, but if you don't mind and want it more like a bodysuit form fitting, stick true to size. So this is going to be so cute tucked into jeans like this. Kind of like a short sleeve bodysuit. I think this is adorable actually. Now I'm like really toned and happy about this. The interior, there's nothing built in. There's nothing going on on the inside. Now I can get away with going without anything, but for you larger chested ladies or those who don't prefer to like go without anything, you can put a sports bra underneath or a real bra and you'll be a-okay. So let's go over any questions about the crew cropped tee along with the fitted t-shirt. Is it tight under the armpits? Does it show sweat? Um, for all these crops, it's not tight under the armpits for me. Um, since it's a casting material, it's just so breathable and soft. Um, but I would say if you don't like anything fitted, like hate when things are tight and fitted, I would recommend sizing up. I don't find it very like restricting or tight in any areas on the armpit. And as far as sweat goes, the lavender is going to be the most like sweat showing. It did show a little bit of sweat for me, but you might get some sweat going with the punch color and then maybe the lucky charm. I feel like you'll be least to show any sweat in the sea green color. Again, this is sweat wicking. So if you do sweat, it'll probably like disappear within like an hour or so. I find this material to be the most sweat wicking Petula has. But again, we all sweat. Sweat is normal. Embrace the sweat embrace the heck out of it. You'll be a-okay. For all the crops, what is the support level for the big busted girlies? I would say you're going to get the most support out of the ones that have the interior built-in bras. So the crew cropped tee is going to be very supportive and you'll have lots of coverage. For the fitted t-shirt, I would say you don't have a lot of support unless you add a bra under here because um, there's nothing under here. Coverage is really great. 
For the notch crop, it off offers a lot of um, support with the interior bra, but it does show a little bit of cleavage. So it kind of like, if you have a little preference, we have a little range of variety here with coverage and support. Now let's get into our last top of this drop that I personally have. Before we get into the one shoulder crop, I wanted to mention that Petula's launching a racer back tank now. It is fitted just like all these other tops, just in a racer back fashion. So it has that classic racer back in the back and then it'll have a scoop neckline. I'll insert a picture here. Um, and it's coming in punch, deep green, and black. So you got a little bit of options, but again, it's fitted. So keep that in mind if you don't like fitted size up. So let's jump into the one shoulder crop, which is personally my favorite from this drop because it offers a lot of like breathing room for my arms. I am wearing a size medium. I'm a happy in a medium. I could have sized down to a small if I really wanted to, but because I like having more room here and this strap feels secure, I am very happy in my medium. The color you see on me is the sea green color. It's also coming in lavender and it's also coming in black. We have the casting material, once again, so comfortable. I hope we see more colors of this exact top in the future because I feel like not only can you wear it to work out in, I wouldn't do like cardio or hip per se where I'm like really moving around, but I think for like upper body and even lower body, I think this is gonna work great. Um, also wearing it just like out and about, coffee shops, date nights, I'm pairing it with jean shorts right now. I think it's so cute. And we this strap feels so, so secure. It's not going anywhere. It's not falling off on me. I really love this strap. It's very, very supportive going over my right shoulder. And then it scoops down here. I don't find this to be like going down as I'm wearing it. Um, I do have to just like adjust it to make sure it's all like good to go. We have the back, which is the Petula branding, and then the one shoulder moment, which I think is so, so cute. On the inside, we've got that interior bra again. Same exact bra as the other ones. Does come with removable pads, mesh on the outside, cast material on the inside with that comfortable elastic band. The crop does come down the same length as all the other ones right above the belly button, but I'm going to be almost making it like a one shoulder sports bra, which I personally really love this style. Now I'm going to move into bottoms for this launch. So we have Cassie leggings and Cassie shorts coming. The leggings are coming in 26 and 23 inch. The shorts are coming in four and six inch. I'll try on all the shorts that I have because I mostly am a shorts person. I have on the 26 inch. Cassie leggings. I'm 5'3 and I like the 26 inch because I hike by the heck up. With the Cassie leggings, I'm wearing a size medium and I size up to a large for shorts for more room in the thigh, the glute, um, and the hip region. This color is called Sea Green and it's coming in all the colorways that are dropping here. So we've got the beautiful punch color. It'll come in black, obviously. Um, lavender and the Lucky Charm and, and this beautiful emerald shade. The sea green color does feel a little bit more snug than the other colors, but it's not enough for me to suggest anyone to size up. Very stretchy, soft, breathable, durable, sweat wicking, all the good freaking things. Why I like the Cassie so much is because of the length of the waistband, because it just compresses all the right areas. We've got no front seam, compressive enough to hold up for HIT, cardio, all the workouts. We have the slight V booty seam, Petula logo. Let me show you a pair of shorts and then all the other colors. The reason I got this one shoulder crop is so that I could pair it with the Lucky Charm and I think it just is such a cute color combo, but these are the six inch Cassie shorts. Again, same material as the leggings and as all these pieces. And this is the green Lucky Charm color. With the six inch shorts, I like to size up to a large in all my shorts because I just want room around this region because I have more like prominent thicker thighs. Here they are like pulled down to like a true six inch, but I always like hike mine up to basically a four inch and I don't mind that extra material. This is a 360 view of a large, again, my waist is 29, hips and glutes are 41, thigh is 27. So I really like my large, um, but yeah. Let me show you the colors in lavender and punch. <laughs> Petula has 
has done it. They've done it. They've perfected the perfect flare legging, I swear. I put these on and I was honestly shook at how much I liked them. So this is Petula's first ever flare legging and I think they knocked it out of the park. It's only launching right now in black and it's coming in 30 inch and 32 inch. I'm wearing a size medium. I'm very happy in my medium. I think it fits me like a glove and it's perfect. I'm wearing a 30 inch. I'm 5'3 and I think it hits me perfectly. However, I think if you're someone that likes a little bit of length, for it to drag or you wear like platform you would wear like platform shoes with this i think you could get 32 inch like i'm considering going to get a 32 inch because i have platform converse but other than that like i'm very happy with my 30 inch and i'm already hoping for more colors so new flare pant this one is made out of the cassie fabric it feels a little similar to kind of like that darker color thing i was talking about with the sea green it feels just a little bit more snug and performance. It does still have like a lot of stretch, a lot of give. Um, not enough for me to size up. I did my legging size, which is a medium, and I'm very, very happy in it. I have that same well-known Cassie thick band up the top. Offers amazing compression, amazing tummy control if you're looking for it. I have no front seam, no side seams. That classic Cassie look. Slivey booty seam, Petula logo, and then the flare. I hope you can see this, but it's not like too dramatic. I'll pop in a picture on the side of what it looks like on me, but I feel like it's not a super dramatic flare. Um, I feel like I'm being taken back to our yoga pant days in like middle school, and I'm vibing with it. I can already see myself wearing these constantly, which is why I want more colors. You guys, I'm like out of breath. Filming these, and I need water. This is a piece of work. I have on the slim fit midi dress. Now, I have seen Skims dresses. I have not put them on, but I want to say that this is a dupe for that. I'm wearing a size medium. It's only launching right now in the color black. This dress is made out of that same Cassie fabric, so What's going to be super nice is since it's black and it's sweat wicking, you won't see any sweat. When I took it out of the package, it really has that like hourglass flat lay figure already. So when you receive your dress, you'll see that it has a spot where it kind of goes out for the hips, which I appreciate because I have that hourglass shape figure already. So it really flatters my body type very, very well. The Cassie fabric. So it's just very soft, breathable. And just so like form fitting already that when you make it into a dress, actual perfection. The front we have like a scoop down and the great thing about this dress is we've got adjustable straps. We've got the tag going. Go away tag, you're not supposed to be in the video. The back that goes scoops down pretty nice so you can show up the back gains, which we love. We have Batula branding on the back. Obviously we have a medi length. So it goes down mid shin almost on me and I'm 5'3". But in a lot of my pictures, I like bunch, I still have material to bunch up. Cause I don't know, I feel like some type of way when things are um, sitting down below my knee. So you can have the option to scrunch it up and make it more um, shorter. You guys are familiar with the bear dress that launched. I'd say the sizing is pretty similar. It's just a different fabric. So this is going to be much more like form fitting and it'll stick and stay where you want it to. It will not go anywhere. It will not roll. Um, it'll stay in place. I know built in bra. There's just like an extra layer of fabric, kind of like a shelf bra. Um, so just like another layer of protection. I'm not wearing anything right now, but you can put like pasties, sticky boobs, whatever you need within that extra layer. Can you show off the stretch of the top half? The dress overall is very stretchy. Um, same stretch everywhere. It has a lot of stretch, especially at the hips, I feel like. But overall, you've got like a lot of give, a lot of stretch. I think for this dress, finding a spokesmodel that has a similar body type to you will be very, very beneficial to find. Um, so if you have a similar body type to me, I think you would be happy in your true to size. I also got asked by Queen 
Sammy herself from Petula if I could show just different ways to style this midi dress. So I'm going to show you a few ways that I foresee myself styling this midi dress. I pair a lot of my dresses with Converse, so that will be the shoe I reach for, and then sandals. But I'm going to show you top-wise how just different options that you can style. <laughs> Probably another top piece for me from this drop is the new sport dress. I'm wearing a size medium in the color black. It's also coming in the Lucky Charm color, which is this green, and then the sea green color, which is this beautiful emerald. I am very happy in my medium. Although I normally size up for shorts, because I know this has shorts underneath. I normally size up in shorts to a large. I think this is very comfortable and I think a large would just be too oversized. A lot of you will be happy with your normal legging size. Unless you have like a wider hip um, region and like to get it over you because you have to step into the shorts and get it over like your butt um, and your hips if you're concerned about that then I would maybe consider sizing up, but I think a lot of you will be happy with your legging size. Little cute sports dress is made out of the Cassie fabric. It feels softer um, than all of the pieces. I don't know why. I foresee myself wearing this everywhere. Literally everywhere. I was telling Clay, I was like, I could run in this if I really wanted to. It's like that good. So we have adjustable straps, which is very nice. It does come down to a neckline similar to the midi dress. This top is definitely more fitted. It lays very fitted on my, it's like a, almost like a tank top. And then the skirt kind of like flares out and it's really cute and kind of like flowy. So it offers a little bit more room. Um, but again, I'm wearing a size medium. Here's where like the skirt shows on me as far as like the back. Um, it has pretty nice coverage. We have the built-in shorts underneath. Um, I don't know what fabric this is. It kind of feels like Cassie. It's very comfortable, but not like digging in anywhere. Like the medium size fits me really nice. Um, but the shorts come up like all the way up here. So you have a nice tummy compression too. So it kind of the stitching cuts off like right in the middle, almost like right at the waist to be honest because my belly button is right here and the stitching is here. So we've got pockets on both sides which is really really nice. Um, a scoop down similar to the mini dress um, and then the Petula branding on the back. Built in bra situation for these dresses. I'm flipping the midi dress inside out. It'll be the same situation on the inside for this sports dress. So it's just simply an extra layer of the Cassie fabric as you can see. So like I said, you could put like cups and stuff under, up and under there, but it just offers just another like layer of protection. So that's kind of the situation on the inside of the dresses. I adore this dress. It is so cute and I think it's gonna be well worth it, especially if you're a dress person. I see myself running errands, going to coffee shops, going maybe to the driving range with Clay if I agree, going on hikes. I literally see myself wearing this all the time. It is so comfortable and so breathable. I love this dress. Tell me more about the sport dress for working out casual how to pee. So I definitely think you could work out of this. For me personally, I don't think I'd wear it for like a weightlifting session, more so for like a tennis match or if Clay and I are going for a walk, more like casual like active wear versus like 
going to lift heavy, but if you're about wearing dresses to go to the gym, pop off because I don't have that confidence yet, to be honest. And I also think it's gonna be perfect for casual wear, whether it's date night, you're going to a coffee shop, you're going to the farmer's market, you're going to get groceries. This dress is like, it's hitting all the check marks. How to pee. So the best way to pee in this, um, it's similar to a romper. So you're just gonna have to pull it down. So if you're not that kind of person, just keep that in mind, but just pull it down, do your dang thing, and then you're on your merry way. But yeah, it's similar to a romper because of the shorts. You're stepping into it versus putting it over yourself. So, and that is the sport dress. I'm going to sit down, and we're going to be a little bit more casual. I am out of breath, simply out of breath. Try-ons are a piece of work, and I want to be sure that I get to all of your guys' questions. Does the one shoulder top slide down? For me, it doesn't slide down too much. I do have to adjust it a little bit, but it's not to the point of where... I am spilling out and falling out. If anything, if you're like in between sizes for the one shoulder crop, I recommend sizing down so that offers a little bit more. But for me personally, like the one shoulder crop fits great and I don't have any issues of the non-strap side falling down too much to the point where I'm falling out. How to pick a flare length legging. I think that's going to depend on how you like kind of like your flares um, and how tall you are. I would say if you're any taller than me, um, I would get the 32 inch, um, but if you're shorter than me, if you're my height, 5'3 or shorter, I would go for the 30 inch, but if you like a little bit of drag or you want to wear platforms with the flare leggings, <laughs> um, then I would recommend the 32 inch. Balsam to the new sea green. Here's the two together in natural lighting. We have the new sea green right here and the balsam over here this is definitely more green um and this has definitely more blue hues so another color comparison question i got was to compare the previous bear iris color that dropped with the bear launch um a couple months ago to the new lavender so this truly is like i thought it was going to be similar to past purples but it's truly like a neon purple compared to past petula purple so we've got the iris bear and then the new lavender cassies people are asking about camel toe and for me personally and my very personal person i don't care too much about camel toe you know it is what it is but i haven't experienced major camel toe in any of these pieces like i have in some past patula pieces first time trying it on. Like I know the Valerie's gave me somewhat of camel toe, but I was like, whatever it is what it is. Um, but with these new Cassies, like I personally do not experience any camel toe. Pregnancy friendly items. I think I've seen one spokesmodel who is pregnant currently rocking like a lot of these pieces. Like I think the fitted tee and the racerback tank are going to be perfect tops for pregnancy um and if you don't mind wearing crops and sitting it above your belly like i think all of these tops are going to be super cute with a belly along with the slim fit midi dress the slim fit midi dress is going to look so cute with a belly so i think those would be my top three picks for you are the fitted t-shirt the racerback tank and the slim fit midi other than that, like, I think all the other pieces would definitely work. It would just come down to, like, would you mind wearing crops while you have a belly? Would you mind wearing, like, yoga pants while you have a belly? Because all in all, the Cassie fabric is very, very, very pregnancy-friendly um, overall. So I think either way, you're going to be happy, um, like, in shorts and leggings. It just kind of depends on, like, what you are willing to wear with a belly. <sighs> okay, so much talking. That is the last question. I think I answered them all. Hopefully I did. But if you have any other questions, feel free to come over on Instagram and shoot me a DM. I think that wraps everything up. Hopefully this was helpful. I tried to go through as much information as possible without being too overwhelming and not missing a thing. But I probably did miss something because there's a lot here. There's a lot to cover, a lot to go over, a lot of amazing colors. This is such an amazing drop with such amazing fabric pieces, new pieces, returning. Uh, I think there's a little something for everyone in this launch. Um, 
If you guys have any questions, once again, feel free to come over to Instagram, shoot me a DM. I'll probably get to your questions the fastest over there. Otherwise, don't forget, launches on Thursday, July 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on patula.com. And at checkout, you can enter my code Danielle, uh, where you can enter a discount code, and I'll get you a little bit of money off. It directly supports me, and it shows Patula that my reviews and everything that you've seen from me is helpful, which means so much to me and if you do end up purchasing with my code please come over and message me on instagram because one i want to be able to enter you into my monthly giveaway and two i just love seeing what you guys get and i love when you tag me in your outfits so i think that wraps it up i will be done talking your ear off so i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day no matter what time you're watching this and happy shopping on thursday i will chat with you guys soon bye